Okay. Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome to Donkey Kong 64. And obviously, we wouldn't have the full experience without sitting here on this screen for what's about to come. But anyway, now that we uh, have seen that, it's very important that you see that because it's so good. Uh, but anyway, now we can just press start whenever we want, basically, to go to the menu. Which we could have skipped through that by pressing start anyway, but it's 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 too good. But anyway, let's go to our adventure. Also, if you stand on the screen, you can also see stuff happening in the background, which I think is cool. This game, I've never actually finished. The, the most I've ever done is 65%. Uh, but this game is probably, in my opinion, the best Nintendo 64 game. I could- I, that's just my opinion. It's kind of tied for first with Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, but I like them for different reasons. But I, th I feel like this game is arguably the best Nintendo 64 game. I'm- I've never wanted a- a remake or a re- like a- a port or a- a sequel to a game more than this game, probably. So... But anyway, let's get into it on a new profile.
Pathetic friends. This time there can be no mistakes. Oh, Your Excellency, we've already taken care of business. <laughs> I hope for your sake you're right this time. No. While you'll be busy looking for your precious golden bananas. Preparing my visit to the event surprise. <laughs> Squawk, DK, DK, come quickly. They're gone, they're all gone, Buck. Cool. I was expecting more from that, but anyway. We can obviously move around with a control stick. We can jump with A, and attack with B. And attacking will happen in different ways, depending on what we're doing with the control stick, obviously. And if we're in the air, we can do a little jump attack thing. But anyway. There's also these banana peels on the ground that we slide on, so we need to be careful of that. I uh, got a picture of Candy Kong on the back wall there. Can't seem to jump well, very, very well at the moment. But obviously this is very... Donkey Kong Country-esque in this place here, because it is supposed to be, so. But obviously this game is also developed by Rare, and a Rare is amazing, basically. This game has an energy to it, like a character to it that no other game really has. And it's so good for a Nintendo 64 game. Squawk, your precious banana hoard, all the other Kongs have vanished. I can't find them anywhere. DK, you'd better go and fo uh, tell Cranky the bad news. Pork. Yeah, yeah, that seems like a good idea. Whilst we have a watermelon at the top of the screen, which is our health, but we're not going to have any problems with that at the moment, so. Uh, but anyway, I guess we should go see Cranky, who's up this way. We can also climb some of the trees here, but not all of the trees. So, like, these these ones here we can't climb, but this one we can. So, it's you, you can usually tell which ones you can climb. But anyway, let's go over here. Also, there's butterflies on the ground. 
And here's Cranky's lab out of nowhere. So let's go in. Well, if it isn't my lazy good-for-nothing son. Lost your golden bananas again? And where might your flea-bitten friends be? You don't know, do you? I'd have uh, thought you would be able to smell the work of a reptile by now. Luckily for you, old Cranky's batch of homemade potions will give you all the skills you need for your silly 3D quest. But you're not having any until you've completed my training barrels. Now buzz off and come back when you, you've you done them all. We could also hold down, I believe, A button or B button to speed through the text, but I probably don't want to do that because I don't want to miss anything since it all goes by automatically. What did Cranky mean about training? Don't get all confused. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Also, I'm going to mainly press B to move because that just seems like the fastest thing to me. I don't know if it's actually the fastest, but anyway, we can also hold Z to kind of crouch, and if we do the jump button, we can do a, like a backflip kind of thing. Uh, we can also, uh, as we're moving, press Z and then uh, B to do a little roll attack, which I don't know how helpful that is, but it's something we can do. Uh, but anyway, over here in this cave is also some banana coins that we want to grab, so let's grab those. And also this dirt mound that we want to probably keep in mind. I forgot what was in this cave. It's been too long since I've played this game. But anyway. Let's go take a look at the uh, challenge bar barrels that Cranky told us to go look at. Let's just start with one over here, I guess. Doesn't really matter which one we start with, but I'm going to do them all anyway, so. Then this one's the one I probably usually start with. Okay. Also, these challenges are something we're going to have to get used to. Squawk, press A to leap from vine to another vine, to, no, to another. Press R when holding vine to face the other way. Press Z to drop from a vine. Now go and collect the coin at the end of the vines. Bork, you almost never need to press the Z button to let go of something. We can also use the right stick to control the camera a little bit. Uh, but, oh no, I'm already failing. We have a time limit, so we need to hurry up. Luckily, if we fail, we just have to go again. It's not really that punishing. But also, it's still punishing when you lose a minigame, so... But there we go. We got the objective completed and we're done. We can swing from vine to vine. And now that we've completed that ca challenge, it's gone forever. Until we reset the game, which I hopefully won't have to do. Okay. Press B to pick up barrel, press B again to throw it. Pick up and throw five barrels to move on. Bork. Okay, so we just need to press the B button when we're staying next to it. Pick it up and then press it again to throw it. Whenever it collides with something, like a wall, it will just explode and be gone. Just like that. Also, using the R button is basically centering the camera bef behind Donkey Kong, so... That's something that could probably be useful for a lot of the game. Probably. I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but I'm going to find out, I guess. Nope, hang on. Also, apparently if you do Z and then A, you can kind of do a long jump thing. Which I didn't, I didn't really know about. I don't think I... No, I probably did know about that, but I just haven't used it much. It's not extremely useful, but it is something we can use, so... Okay... Squawk, pick up those... the oranges and hold Z. Then press, uh... Left, no, right on the <laughs> C buttons. Just throw five oranges and you're done. Here. Bork. These oranges are basically grenades. Also, I thought that the, the pin in them was eyes. For basically all my childhood. But no, it's just a pin that we need to pull out basically and throw them. But it's, you don't have to worry about stuff. Just hop to You don't have to worry about pulling out the pin. You just need to press Z and then right on the C buttons slash C stick. But anyway, I used to think that everything had eyes, basically. Like, literally everything. And I don't know why. It's, it's clearly other things, but my, my, my poor brain thought that everything was eyes. 
squawk, press Z to dive underwater, then press and hold A or B to swim at different speeds. Pressing Z will act as a water break to slow you down. Prove yourself by collecting the coin at the bottom. Walk. So we just need to press Z to go under the water and then we just need to hold A, I guess, to swim in the direction we want to go. It's a little bit interesting trying to swim in 3D space because obviously you have to move around to position yourself right. And go the direction you want. Squawk! Hurry, DK! Go and get that potion from Cranky! And let's get going. Walk! Okay then. We just have to go do that then. It might actually be faster to roll, actually, possibly. But anyway. Hmph! You took your time, donkey. Jungle rust sets in. It's gone. <laughs> but we got the we get the Simiang uh, slam. Butter spashum. <laughs> I love the the des descriptions and titles of things. Right, you and your missing buddies will be able to slam the ground by pressing A to jump, and then Z whilst in the air. It should get you out of this area. Oh, one more thing. I've got a real treat for you. But only if you bring me 15 banana medals. I think they look like this. I'll see you later, if you're lucky. Okay. So we are done in the area that we started in, basically. Or so we can see where... Cranky is by the arrow with his face on it, pointing down the ground. Also, apparently if we press up on the C buttons, we can look around in first person. Which I'm assuming we can also zoom out by pressing down on the C buttons as well. Uh, but anyway, I want to actually go up this way while we're still here, please. Because up here are some vines going into the waterfall, or behind the waterfall. So let's jump across here. And back here is the Kong's Banana Horde. Which, uh, is, uh... Looking a little bit empty, considering all of the banana peels. But there's also another dirt patch here that I want to point out. That dirt mount. So we'll have to keep that in mind. But for now, let's get going. There's also some oranges under the water here that we could collect if we wanted to. Just so we have them to be able to throw at enemies or whatever we need to blow up, basically. Also, careful of the fire. I believe that actually hurts. Possibly? No, it doesn't. Never mind. But anyway, now that we have the banana slam, or the... The... Simang... Simang slam? I don't know. We can now jump and press C... To ground pound, basically. Which I'm just gonna call it ground pound, because that's what I've always called it. Also, I love the way that it has doors in this game. That, like, open the way that they do. I don't know. It's just... The, the nostalgia probably more than anything, but also, it just works for me. Squawk, he's back! DK, King K. Rules Island is just over there! He must be the one who stole your bananas and kidnapped the other Kongs. I've taken a quick look around, but the only area that hasn't been blocked off is an island with a cave on it over there. Block? Also, the music in this game is phenomenal. I just have to say that now, because this music is reminding me of that. Find a similar numbered pad in the same area, and press Z to banana port between the, the two. So basically, these pads here with the different numbers on them are uh, teleports, but we need to have both of them enabled, so... We need to have two of the one enabled, two of the two enabled, two of the three enabled, you know what I mean. Uh, but that will allow us to warp between them, which will be very nice. Also, we have this barrel here, which has a lot of, uh, question marks on it, but also DK. And, uh, we really can't do anything here at the moment, so we just have to pick DK, I guess. By pressing A on him. But yeah, that's basically everything here. We could go pick up all the, or at least most, 
No, I'm pretty sure you can get all of these teleport pads as soon as possible, but it's probably best to get them later on, so... For now, let's just go across here. I don't know if this is faster to jump like this, but this is just what I've always done. Let's just get up here, and here's the other one, which means that we can now teleport between these two positions. Becoming banana and going back to monkey. But yeah, that's just a way to teleport around the world. Which will be helpful as we go through the game, so... Boo-hoo! Who? Oh, hi, my name's K Lumsy, and I've been locked in here because I wouldn't smash up some little island. But how could I? Such a lovely little island. Full of cute monkeys. So I said no. <laughs> K Rule says I'm too soft to be a Kremlin, and I'm uh, to stay in here until I've toughened up. Sob. I'll do anything to be free again. Hey, little monkey, perhaps you could help me- Ah, uh, poor old K Lumsy. Escape. Oh, go on. I'll be your bestest friend. Yes, donkey will help, K Lumsy. Oh, banana. Oh, K Lumsy's so happy now. But K Rule has taken the keys to this cage and given them to the biggest and most feared soldiers in his army. If you manage to get hold of any keys, please bring them back here to open my locks. Don't tell K Rule, though. This has to be our little secret. So there we go. We can also see that he has a lot of locks on his cage. All numbered as well, so... But we can't do anything about that at the moment, so let's go. And luckily, K Lumsy is able to help us by opening up different parts of the game for us, so... Now we can go over here. And there's also an enemy over here that we can get attacked by. This Naughty the Beaver, which, as you can see, our health is the Watermelon, which I said already. Which means that whenever we kill an enemy, they drop a Watermelon piece, or possibly more, and then we can refill our health like that. We have four health, I'm pretty sure. Uh, also, enemies will respawn after a time, so you probably don't want to stand around too long. But anyway, here's a banana, a golden banana, which has the Nintendo 64 icon on it, which I always thought was eyes. Just... The, the way it looks, it just looks like eyes. Is, am I the only one? Probably. Anyway, let's pick this up. This is the main collectible of the game, which we'll need to collect as many of as possible of to open up the rest of the game, so. Uh, there's also these doors here, which uh, we can only look at some of them. Oh, also, we're moving on now. Over here, you dumb ape. I'm the mighty Bull B Locker. And don't you think for one minute you're coming in here without showing me some of your stupid golden bananas. If I disobey that fat old fool, K. Rule, it's the big sawmill in the sky for me. So pay up uh, pronto and I can get my wooden butt out of here. What do you mean by sawmill in the sky? I don't know. Anyway. Can I please not get attacked by you? That'd be nice. What I was trying to say is there's one door which it has a uh, wrinkly Kong on the door. So let me go over to it and it's also yellow for Donkey Kong. Don't be afraid, young ones. It's only me, wrinkly Kong. My body may have passed away since DK3 C3, but I'm here in spirit to help you defeat those naughty crocodiles. I can use my supernatural powers to reveal to you 
and your friends swear that Grog K. Rule has hidden some of your precious golden bananas. You can come and see me wherever you see my face. Don't be shy now, dearies. So basically, this is a hint system to know where golden bananas are. But I think I should be good for the most part. Uh, anyway. We need one golden banana to get through here. Why? Why are you attacking me? <laughs> it's fine. Anyway. So we just need to walk up to him with our one golden banana. Come on, I haven't got all day. Show me the bananas. And I'm out of this dump. Well, there you go. Let's go into this magical portal and teleport away. Let's see how that fool Donkey Kong is progressing, shall we? That's right, my scaly friend. Dave hasn't even got his first banana yet. Wha what? How did he do that? Very good, Donkey. But you need more than brute strength to stop me this time. Jungle Japes. And here's where the music starts kicking in. Let's go. DK, gather as many bananas as you can before going through one of these portals. Okie dokie. And one of these portals means this one over here with this, this icon on it. Collect 75 or more bananas, DK, and you'll earn a banana medal. The texts really seem to go away very quickly. Anyway, the first thing we want to do is probably turn around because there's a one pad here that we want to press. There's also the exit of the level, which we can also exit from the menu, which we can bring up if we press plus to pause. So we can exit level, but if we exit level from the hub world, it's actually just going to end the game, basically. <laughs> Get a game over. But that's just the way it seems to work at this era of gaming, I guess. But anyway, we can also go up here, and up here are some regular bananas that are yellow. You need to keep in mind colors. It's very important that you keep in mind colors. But we can collect these, and we need to get a lot of these to be able to get through the whole game. Also, this switch just activates by standing on it, so it's it's very simple. You don't even need to ground pound on it. But that opens the way forward, so let's hop down now. There is fall damage, but we need to be a lot higher up to worry about that. But anyway, let's go through here. I like how much was put into this game. Like, this... <laughs> there's different music in different areas, depending on where you are. Like, that same, same, I just said the same thing twice, it's fine. But, I feel like not only many games did that around this time. Most games, like, you go into a different area and it has different music, but not, like, going into a different area of one area. Hey, DK! Help! Squawk! K. Rule's minions have hidden 25 golden bananas around this area, but you'll only be able to find five of them without the help of the other Kongs. Squawk? So basically, each level has 25 golden bananas that we need to find, and each Kong can collect five. But we've only got Donkey Kong right now, so we are going to be uh, taking a little bit of time before we can get all of that uh, now. Also, I want to make sure I go back and get the one teleport connected so we can get back here very quickly if we need to. Uh, there's also this cage down here which has a golden banana underneath it. Um, if a golden banana is faded, that means that you don't have the Kong that can get that, basically. So, since this one is uh, actually full golden and not transparent, that means that this one is collectible by Donkey Kong, but we're not probably going to get it uh, just yet. Uh, but anyway, let me go over this way. 
Because over here is the three that I want to activate, and also some more bananas. Bananas are also good, so. Uh, there's also a banana balloon up here. Uh, but we can't do anything about that, so let's just leave that for the moment. I do want to get the other three now as well, just to make things easier for myself. We can kind of ledge grab when we're next to a ledge. So if we jump out of this wall, we should be able to grab the ledge. Except not, we jump high enough anyway, so it's fine. I wasn't sure, but anyway. Over here's the other three. I have some more bananas, so we can get across now. Nice and quick. I'm gonna run away from you. Uh, but what we need to do now is actually go up in the level, so let's go ahead and do that. I think it might be fastest to swim, possibly. Just a little bit. Uh, but anyway, here's the vine that we can grab onto, so let's climb this. Let's hop up here. And now, there's this pad here, which is a bit of a, a challenge, to say the least. Press Z to transport yourself to K. Rule's Battle Arena. Beat his goons to win a crown. There's one of these in every level. And so I think some levels have even more than one, so... We just need to press C and we'll teleport in. And we need to survive for long enough in this arena. Beaver Brawl. So we just need to survive taking out these beavers. And... Yeah, that's basically it. They respawn quite quickly, so... Also, I think he's stuck on... The watermelon, which is interesting. If we do a backflip, it actually counts as an attack, so we can actually bounce off of them to do some damage, which is quite a good attack. Early on, at least. Just because we don't have to do anything. It's fairly simple. Ah, uh, but unfortunately, I'm failing at that because they're just attacking me. But anyway, once the time is completed, there's a crown that we need to collect, and we're done. Just like that. Let's go into the armory here that spawned in. Welcome to Funky Store. So funky. Hey, been a long time, donkey, donkey dude. K Rule's return is a real bummer. So the main monkey's here to fix you up with some reptile kicking hardware. Check this out. I've got this real cool shooter that'll trash K Rule's army, and it's yours. For just three coins. Are we talking a deal here? You can see how much it costs on the left, top left of the screen. You can see how many coins we have on the top right of the screen. Also keep in mind that these banana coins that we have are yellow. <laughs> because everything is color coordinated in this game, so... Basically. But anyway, let's press A. To accept and pay the cost. When we get the coconut shooter. More well known as the coconut gun. Looking good, donkey. Uh, let me give you the lo- uh, the lowdown. To fetch out, put away, or- Fetch out or put away your shooter. Press and hold Z. Then press left. Press, uh, B to fire. You can also press up to use the aiming sight mode. And if you're fair and black- Uh, fire and blanks. I'm the monkey to see for ammo. Zero doing right now, donkey dude. Afraid I gotta go work on my next big thing. Also, can we just talk about how he has like a rocket on his back? Uh, anyway, over here is a transparent golden banana, so that's not for Donkey Kong to collect. That's something I want to point out is how they look. But anyway, now if we crouch, or just press C, we can do a uh, left to bring out the coconut gun, which we have an ammo for, which is the coconuts there. Keep in mind that the coconuts is its own ammo, basically. Uh, but there are certain th uh, th items that we can collect to get ammo, which I think are down there. Uh, when we go into first person mode, we can actually see a crosshair to see where we're shooting at. Uh, press B to fire, and it shoots in that direction, basically. Uh, but we can also just shoot whenever we're not in first person mode as well, so we can just shoot, which is f far more satisfying than it should be. Uh, anyway now. Let's jump over this way. Oh, I missed. I didn't press the jump button, I pressed the attack button. I'm having a little bit of trouble right now, but it's fine. I'll get used to it, probably. I haven't played this in too long. I really haven't. But anyway. Can I please turn? Thank you. 
jump, 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 and jump. Anyway, this cannon here is also interesting because these cannons just fire you automatically to wherever you're going, basically. Uh, also, this is an ammo box, which I, I, th I don't know what I thought this was originally as a kid. I don't think I thought it had eyes. But anyway, we can pick this up and it gives us ammo back, so. Worth about five, so. But anyway, here's Diddy Kong in his cage, but here's a golden banana as well. So let's see what happens. You might need Funky's help to get me out of here. So basically that's a hint that we need to have the coconut gun to get Diddy out of here. So let's jump down here quickly, carefully, not that, not like that. I'm getting confused because my buttons aren't where I'd expect them to be because I'm playing this on Wii U. I really want this on Switch, but also I feel like it's going to have the same problem as this with the buttons being weird because it'll probably still be A and B, but it's not in the same positions as a Nintendo 64 controller. If that makes any sense. Even though the last time I played this, like the most recent other time I played this was on Wii U as well, so. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and fire at this as well. Basically, these are just targets to hit, which will activate different things depending on what you do with them. Um, let me go quickly put this away again. Just the same thing as pulling it out. And I'm going to head up here again. Can I turn around? I'm having a little bit of trouble with the camera more than anything else. Here's the another number two, so we can actually teleport around quickly. Here's another target, but it's got a peanut on it, so we can't do anything about that. Uh, also over here is Snide's HQ, but I'm going to leave that for a little bit later, since we can't really do anything there at the moment. Although, I could check it out just, just to look at it. Also, we can shoot the banana balloons to get the bananas inside of them. We could also put away the coconut gun while we're in first person mode and just keep looking around as well, so... I guess I'll look at Snyder's HQ. I came this way, so I might as well. Greetings, Snide's the name. Revenge is my game. Did you know K. Rule's been working on his Blastomatic machine and intends to destroy your island? I was the chief technician on the project, but that double-crossing lizard kicked me off the, his team because he didn't trust me. I'll try to help you stop K. Rule's ma machine, but you'll need the to find me some of the, my original blueprints. I believe they were given to some of the king's toughest cronies. So be careful. For every blueprint, you'll return... I'll give you one of those golden bananas K. Rule stole from your horde. No blueprint, no banana. You never know. They might just buy you some valuable time. That's the deal. Kong, this isn't a game, Kong. Those blueprints are vital to us both. So please go and find some. So we need to get all the blueprints to fill out this board here, which will get five in each level, basically. That's going to take us some time, but yeah, we'll need to do that. <laughs> it's very important to do that, actually, so. Uh, anyway, now let's head down here. Just like that. Jump out of the water. Okay, don't hit me. Also, the bee here is really annoying because we can't attack it with our normal attacks, I believe, so we actually have to shoot it with our gun to be able to do something about it just like that but again everything respawns so it's not going to help us that much uh anyway over here now i want to also get this banana balloon like that very nice ah first person it's fine uh but also over here is the last target that we need to hit so let's do that Yippee! Way to go, DK! Now that I'm free, I can help you by collecting red bananas. I'll just go and wait in the tag barrel until you need me. 
So now we can play as Diddy Kong by using the barrel that had Donkey Kong's face on it. That we can use to switch out Kongs, basically. Now, here's where the colors come in. Anything that is red is only collectible by Diddy Kong. Anything that is yellow is collectible by Donkey Kong. So, we need to keep track of all of the different things, like ammo, coins, bananas, all sorts of things. Golden bananas are collectible by any Kong, but also only by the Kong that's supposed to get them. So, again, there's just stuff for each Kong to do that only they can do. Same with blueprints, actually. Blueprints can only be collected by the, the Kong that is their color. The color that, by the Kong, the color that it, it belongs to that Kong. You know what I mean. Uh, but yes, each Kong will also have their own ammo. Peanuts is Diddy, uh, Diddy Kong's ammo. But we also need to give, get him some coins because he needs to also buy himself a gun. So, it's really just all over the place. There are upgrades to different Kongs as well that we'll get. Which they'll need to have their own coins for and all that for, so... But anyway, for now, I think that is everything. Just want to get this... These bananas up here, please. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.